I hope you're feeling positive because this is the Intro Depository and welcome to time to no to the Nostalgia Nexus where we are playing Undertale and we are doing a pacifist run. I hope you're ready for what's about to come next. Things are going to get very, very interesting. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. I'm ready. Oh shoot, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready! <laughs> Oops. Oh well, this will have to be due. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, Please, do what you must. Um, yeah, go back. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Something as well as reading, take your time. Okay. So, item... Um, oh, I don't have this... What? Oh, right, right, that makes sense. So, let's go to dimensional box A. Let's store this. We actually want this. Let's store this. Um... Where's that abandoned quiche? Yeah, we'll take that too. I don't know if it affects them or not, but might as well have it. The abandoned quiche, I mean, the butterscotch pie actually does affect them. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? Ready? I see. This is it. Then. Ready? This is my favorite moment in the entire game. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. There is no better way of saying no mercy than that. <laughs> it's such an important moment too, and I'm so excited to talk about it in Tips Gaming Philosophy. But we'll get there. Talk, check, talk, check, talk, check, talk. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to want to talk. Yeah, his hands tremble for a moment. It's actually a very similar tutorial in terms of how he attacks. That was where you don't want to fight him. Even gets funny for a moment. Okay, we're not doing well. Uh, however, this will help. Um, where's this? Where's the pie? The pie. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP maxed out. This might remind of Asgore or something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Okay, I'm ready. This is the one time we have to attack. Whew. Okay, let's do this. No dying today. 35. Yeah, one of the things about this fight is that Asgore, you actually do more damage to Asgore every single time you attack him. Almost every single time you attack him. So it's actually not going to take as long as it looks like it's going to. Ah, shoot. Um, it's still going to take a while, though. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Just pay attention to his eyes. It tells you exactly what he's about to do. Ah. There we go. Okay, one more time, and we're going to have to heal up next time. Okay, let's heal up. Um, hot dogs, do it. Okay. Fight again. It's weird that the game requires you to do this. This is actually 
an interesting thing where it's like, I kind of had problems with this at first, but I realized what it really is saying. Um, and so I don't mind that much. Oh yeah, we're doing less damage. Okay, I can do better than that. There we go. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. It's not that hard, thankfully. That's the good news. I had a lot of trouble with this fight the first few times, though. It took me quite a while to, uh, to get it. Um, although I, I might die once, I'm hoping not to, but we'll see what happens. Um, just keep on eating. I don't have to be too, uh, conservative when it comes to food here. I just need to survive. That's the only, that's my only purpose right now. Okay. Almost there. Shoot, I did not mean to mess up. But yeah, see I'm doing more damage now for sure. Heal. Shoot, I keep on messing that. There we go. That's all I need to do is just get into a gap. The issue is anticipating where the gap's gonna be. Okay. Yeah, I have missed the last one. I wasn't sure if it was stay if it was stay still or go. Don't do that. Ah. Okay. Oof. Okay. We still got this, and we still have the quiche at the very least. Okay, so stand still twice, move. Stand still, okay. <laughs> I thought I got hit for a second there. Yeah, you know, we're pretty much done. Yeah. Okay, see? Not too bad. Uh huh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. That's an awful future. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want a power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We could sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Yeah, that's not happening, unfortunately. You idiot. You haven't even learned you haven't learned a thing in this world. It's killed or be killed.
Well, now you get to see all my videos that I haven't uploaded. Well, that's great. That's great. Right. I should have planned for that. <laughs> Under, actually, at that point, all that should be uploaded, so that's not really an issue. Okay. Undertale. It's coming back. Um, just have to hit F4. There we go. We're back. Continue. Don't worry, that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Bloop. Hi, Flowey. A little, uh, larger than life. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead, and I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long, it feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel them wiggling. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I could only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever and fourth wall breaking right there. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you, I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are a f an idiot. A fool. I was gonna say a fool. No! What is this monstrosity? What has appeared before us? Well, it's gonna break your eyes, my eyes, and the eyes of everybody in existence. So enjoy. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Bullet hell. For sure. The trick really to this is just to keep on moving. It's not very hard. It looks way harder than it is considering I'm already almost dead. But it's really designed to not kill you. Unless I'm dumb and that happens. Well, I feel dumb for saying that now. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Thank you, Flowey. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? It's only going to be once. It's not going to happen again. This time I've got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh, 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 laugh. Okay. Just move, 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 move. Keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving. Oh yeah, here we go. See, this is what was supposed to happen last time. <laughs> mm. 
He called for help. And help I shall receive. Thank you. Back to the fight. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. A little damage I can do. Okay, Omega Flowey. This is not good. Okay. I was a little worried for a second. I was gonna die again. That's the way it's designed. It's designed to like really hurt you but not kill you. I messed up the first time because I like ran into stuff. Rather than like trying to avoid it. If you even try to avoid it, you shouldn't have too much issues. Too too much issues? Too many issues. Okay. Oh shoot. Yeah. Yeah, this is when it starts getting weird because you keep on saving files and then reloading them so that suddenly you're back in places in trouble. I don't remember ever having this much issue with this. Okay, just call for help. Just call for help. Thank you. Give me all of it. Or that much works too, I guess. Ah! Just go and do as many gaps as you can. That's the one I find that people complain the most about, which I never understood because that never caused me issues. Nonetheless, I do do damage and I understand that people have issues with them, so I'll just say that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, as long as we live to, this po to these points, we're okay. Cruelty, cruelty, death, nightmare. Hmm, I'm something. Ah, theme. Come on. Thank you. He called for help. Things please happen. Thank you. You also notice that like those are based off of all of the weapons we have have had. There's a reason for that. If all the weapons are represented by the human souls, then that's kind of indicating that the um, that the weapons we've gathered have been from past humans. Is this the last one? Yeah, frying pan. Yeah, this is the last one. You called for help. Okay. Thank you. Give me all the eggs. All of the eggs. Okay. I just have to survive a little bit longer. It's almost done. This is still a really cool fight. Like this is actually one of the reasons that people love this game. Ah! Okay, now this is the last one. Yeah. Really. Oh, right, because we never got the gun. I forgot about the gun. Yeah, technically, the spider one, I forget what her name is, um, is like a boss. Oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. Okay, it's done. So you can miss the action button and you have to you just cycle through the souls apparently. I've never missed it, but nonetheless. It's definitely something that can happen. Thank you everybody. Let's do this. Let's beat this guy. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. And 
now we can do damage. Yeah, we've got this. We're already past all the hard parts. And it's just doing enough damage. That we are good. Got this! You're mine, Flower, you're all mine! <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I'm the god of this world, and you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help me. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get it is gonna get to see you die. Yeah. What? How do you Well, I I'll just Where are my powers? The souls. What are they doing? No, no! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away.
Hmm. Ring ring. Hey ya. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared, so uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying to her best not to look, not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just watch water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alfie's with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. And Dine is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I, th I think Alf is always likes having her around. Uh, hey, hey, what are you up to, punk? Ah, please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yep, he is. Come here. Please don't nuggie the skeleton. Anyway, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistants. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah. And I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's at the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm sure there's them there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble has, was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel! Toriel! Do you wanna... Heh. <laughs> she says she's busy. But she knew who we were talking to. We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. We'll call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, I hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay? Buddy. Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now we will probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been uh, set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say. What if I told you I need some way to get a better ending? You'll have to load your save file in, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alfie's? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon! Whew! Okay. So, that is actually a neutral ending. Um, but we are not done yet. Because now... As Flowey told us, we had to go see Dr. Appies.
this actually cannot happen until I have to beat the game, so this is something that, um, yeah, I literally would have to do now. You have to get a neutral ending to get a pacifist ending. Just the way the game works. Oh, sorry, I've been literally doing this all day. <laughs> it's awesome, though. I'm enjoying it. Okay, just making sure it's still doing okay. Seems to be. Okay. So, next stop. Let's go down. Almost done though. I'm gonna save the uh, the genocide ending for a little bit down the road, probably after I finish a few things, maybe later on. I can do a philosophy video with what I have, and I'm happy to have finally sh almost shared all of this with you. So I'll be in a few weeks or a few months. It all depends on how things go. Either way, I'm very happy to have this done. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. Uh, I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. Uh, in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Okay. So all we have to do is go this way. Go in here. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, do you remember my name? Did you? Yes. <laughs> Just to see that face. Okay. Left floor one, I believe, is what it is. If I am not mistaken. Yep, I'm not mistaken. All right. Charlala, care for a ride? Where will we go today? Snowden. Then we're off. Uh, oh, I say. Uh, when we take a break every so often. <laughs> I wonder if it knows how often, how long I've been playing for. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Okay. That's the wrong way. Not gonna stop by the library today. Hey, I have something to give you. May you're carrying too way too much stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It's good when I have a dimensional box. I don't have stuff in it. I have a notebook. I don't need a cloud of glasses. I don't need a rubber band. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. It's kind of personal. We're friends, so I'll tell you. <laughs> well, it sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay, then. I guess we're going back to Hotland. Uh. Okay, so I have a destination for this episode. So we're going to be here for a little bit. Uh, the next area, yes, there is a new area. It takes a little while to get through. Not to mention Alphys' date. Alphys' date. Alphys. Okay, Alphys or Alphys, I can never decide. Alphys, we'll go with Alphys. Uh, anyway. Coming in sometime. Tra la la. You fill with determination. Let's go. Knock, knock. Slide the letter under. Slide. Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's it shook kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second.
Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I have no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. Surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Okay, dating start. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Actually, we still have, can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right. Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. I wonder who she actually wants to go out with. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Um, okay. Complete silence. The kids just look. Or. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. The truth's out. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Great place. Here we are. This is where Undone and I come all the time. We found all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> she's really, uh... No, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, uh, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Uh, you don't have it? Uh, have you at least seen her? Uh, yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. God. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just, just, just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. I'm dying to the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you weren't um, cool, but but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm a royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Oops, the truth. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way, to live a lie where people, or both people are happy, or truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever pe make people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. Or will get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Um, obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Um, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> um, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is Alphys? 
you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You, you see, I, I, oh, forget it. Dine. I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and s strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like, tell, tell me that you'll be and anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me! What did you just say? I, uh, Undyne, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, uh, actually, we were only romantically were playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What, what, but what? But, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just, I just like to use to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in the Alves. I, I just wanted, wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. I'm dying. I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Shh. Shh. Alfie's. I, I think you're neat too, I guess, but you've got to realize most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is you're passionate, you're anal analytical, it doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have, a, have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to be you to become happy with who you are, and I'm just to training you need to do that. And I, you, you're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding. Right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Can't lie. I can't. No, no, I can't feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong for Alfie's. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. And it actually puts us in the dump. I kind of wish we could just teleport to save points. But nah. The River Woman's kind of nice and it's an interesting touch to the game. Woo! <coughs> Ooh, all the voices for so long. Getting <clears throat> to me a bit. Brr, ring. Howdy. It is my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished her training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now I feel strongly, um, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only one. I only have good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. Woo. I already went for gold. Well, only one. 50. Oh well. Um. Hello. Guess let's ride in the boat. Let's go to Hotland. Uh, to Hotland we go. Tra la la, humans, monsters, flowers. Yeah, she's definitely mysterious. Alrighty then. Or she, they are definitely mysterious. Come again sometime, tra la la. Um, no, thank you. I, that was a mistake talking to you again. So, I 
think I remember where it is. Okay, let's go in here. And here. No from Ralphies. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this new. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Yeah, very uh, interesting bathroom, Alfie's. Warning. Warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability. EM tether stability lost. At altitude dropping. Attitude dropping. <laughs> it's really meant for Undyne. <laughs> okay. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I'll create the power to free us all. I'll unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be re cannot be created artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I can make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. Do, do, do. Power room. Yeah, and I can't go that way. Okay, here we go. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still com a comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then. Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust. So I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Turn on the sink. Turn off the sink. There we go. I knew it was one of them. For some reason I thought it was the middle one. Hi! Or is it just the last one you try? Um... So... Receiving noises for the receiver. Come join the fun! Uh, these ones aren't particularly difficult. Um, join. Just a moment. Become one of us. It's a real get-together. Refuse. Be seeing you. You won. Right. What's the whole point of that? <clears throat> Click the red key fits perfectly in the slot. There's a note on the ground to make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. So in other words, in the drain that we already looked down. So that's good. Okay.
Did we already read this one? Oh no, let's just power him. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. So, yeah. Just before we do that, let's go into dimensional box A. Um, and we want the stick. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as humans cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments in the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you, and you won't let go. Yeah, they experimented on flowers. Well, flower seeds. Ooh, scary. Um... Yeah, so you can see it right there, so, right? So it has like the thing on, so if we pick on, it seemed effective. It's a mix of different monsters. Um, Mystify, is that the right one for Mystify? Yeah, it is actually. Or is it Prey? I think it's actually Prey. There's his Conscience. Okay, this is a little creepy. Ah! Um, hum? No, I don't see Siren in there. Mystify. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage! Oh, yeah, there is a frog in there. Shoot. Spared, we're good. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're gonna come back down here later. That's all good. We already beat the monster, so that's really all that I need to be done there anyway. We'll be back. Yeah, we have just enough time, I think, to get through this. We'll probably go a little over time, but that's okay. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore, and we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <laughs> There's a switch on the wall, press it. Hello? Yeah, okay, I thought it was here. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of dogs, um, which is why I have this. So I could have used this to beat all the dogs. This one's just annoying. So the dog runs to get it. You played fetch for a while. Done. See? <laughs> That's why I brought the stick. <clears throat> Entry number 15. Seems like this, research, like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everything's al everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Oh boy. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Yeah, this is the creepiest one. There's a green key. The token I put in your keychain. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh wait, that's uh that's not what I think it is. That's not actually a save point. Um What does the note say? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Oh shoot, I forgot I had to get that. We're gonna go do that first. 
Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. <clears throat> Gory! Wake up! What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shh. I just want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Mm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, you, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Mm, I don't know. Honey, what kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian? Oh, <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori, that, that one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Tape, let's go to two. Okay, Tip, are you ready? Weird that he has their name. Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Howdy, tip! Smile for the camera! Ha, <laughs> this time I got you! I left the cap on, on purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason, <laughs> What? Oh yeah, I remember. We tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad we made Mom really upset. I shouldn't, I should have laughed it off like you did. Um. Anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. I I don't like this idea. Tip. Uh, what? No, I'm, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I'd never doubt you, Tip. Never. Yeah. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Tip, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Tip, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Tip, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Oh. Uh... I never realized that part of it. <laughs> Alright. Hi. Yeah, okay. So I definitely see some siren in there. Let's flex. You flex your arm. Where the muscles shake. Welcome to my special hell. Um, do you think I'm pretty? Okay, I need a hot dog. You think I'm pretty? Or do you think I'm pretty? Um, not scream. Unhug. I red seems to remember something. I felt this before. Okay, we're good. 
BT extraction machine status inactive. So the termination and extraction. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. This refrigerator is empty. This refrigerator. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Your the four about um, everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. The refrigerator is empty. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Ugh. There's no, no, no. Curtain. That's all you got. <laughs> okay. It said something about cold before. Do I already have that key? That's weird. Oh, okay, yeah. I knew something was here. Um, heckle. Snoopy. You told a bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. Okay, so I just have to keep on telling jokes. Told a bad pun about snow. <laughs> Thank you. Told a bad pun about snow. Just completely calm now. You won. That one's almost sad. Okay, so we still have two keys to unlock, and yeah, we're pretty we're out of well, we're not out of time, but we're um we're close enough to the end of all this, and I'm not too worried about it. So let's keep on going for the moment. So we're gonna go down this way. Um, it's one of them. Oh yeah, one of them's yeah. There we go. Okay, so now we just go unlock the last two, and then we're done with this place, pretty much anyway. I doubt we're going to fight this thing again. Didn't think so. Is there a key? Let's go put the last one in where we don't, um, <laughs> where we've already been. And we'll be good. So yeah, I mean, we're pretty much done the game now. Next time will be the finale for sure. Which is pretty much what I planned. So that's the good news. Um, and now, okay. So that's done. So now we go back to that door that we saw quite a while back. Um, and yeah. We're pretty much done with this place now. And then we go. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Okay. Oh wait, these are... Okay, I can't read them until I'm on my way back. Okay. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on, yes. Hi guys. What what you doing? Um, you're friendly, right? Please don't come any closer. Hey, stop it. I got you got some food, okay? Sorry about that. I think you're kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think I smelled the potato chips you had, and uh, anyway, the power went out. I've been trying to turn it back on. 
but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I, I appreciate you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Um, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrible failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm not sure there will be time. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. But I, I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. Knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Go home. Go home. Okay. Now the power's restored. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when someone without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Tip, are you there? It's been a long time. Hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Tip. See you soon. And we're back up here. We made it all the way back here. Whew. Okay. We're ending here. Next time's the finale. Look forward to it. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel. There's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again. Have a great day and remember to keep positive.